Hello everybody, this is Dino Spadaccini with Team Factory Align. Uh, I'm going to give you a short explanation on how to set up and calibrate your governor in your 3GX. This current model is running the 1.2 uh, 3GX software which is now downloadable off the Align website. It gives uh, a, a couple of major improvements uh, including a new governor function uh, in, in the fact that it will spool up a smoother and has better ability to hold uh, consistent throttle while doing hard 3D maneuvers. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that your governor channel is is uh, reversed correctly. On Futaba the channel needs to be reversed. So if it's not reversed you're basically going to get a red light. Uh, so on Futaba systems you need to reverse your throttle channel so you have a green light. The next thing I like to do is check your ATVs uh, so you have a nice linear throttle in normal before you calibrate. Um, so on your, your throttle channel, linear line in normal. The other thing you need to do is make sure that you're not over compressing your throttle ATVs. 100 to 100 is best. Uh, I run mine right at around 90 90 where it's all worked out for me and my geometry. Uh, calibrating the 3GX uh, governor is simple. Turn the model off, radio on, and your throttle stick down. Hold down your set button, turn on the model. The lights will tick up until they all come on. Let go of the th set button, raise your throttle stick. The 3GX is now programmed and will reset itself. Now you are calibrated for radio to throttle to governor. At this point, you go into your governor screen in your radio and you basically are going to plug in percentage values that will correlate to a head speed. Um, on this particular model, uh, my highest head speed is about uh, 2080, uh, and that puts me about 84-85%. Um, I like to run a little higher speed per, uh, personally. I feel it locks in the, the head a little bit better, especially under loads. Um, and this is a quick way uh, and how you should set up your throttle and governor function on a Futaba radio. This is Dino Spadaccini with Team Factory Align. Hello everybody, this is Dino Spadaccini with Team Factory Align. I'm going to give you a brief description on how to set your 3GX up in DIR mode on a Futaba radio. It's quite simple. I um, have my screen on my 14MZ set up right to my swash menu. My collective stick, throttle stick, is in the center. My values right now, aileron is about 59, elevator is 50, uh, 63, and pitch is around 45. What you do then, basically hold down your set button, turn on your model. As the lights start to tick up release, this will put you in DIR, DIR mode for setup. At this point, uh, we're going to go from direction we know is correct. We'll go to elevator limit. Hold your stick forward for a second. Release. Then the next light would be if we needed to reverse the direction of the, uh, of the gyros for the aileron or elevator, which we don't. We're good. Now we're going to go to the aileron limit. Hold the stick to the left release. The next light will give us if we needed to reverse the direction of the gyros for the aileron. We don't. We're good. Press the set button once more. The system uh, restarts. And that is how you program your DIR for your Futaba radios on the 3GX. Thank you and this is Dino Spadaccini with Team Factory Align. Hello everybody, this is Dino Spadaccini with Team Factory Align. I'm going to give you a brief description on setting up your rudder limits on your 3GX uh, using whether you're using a Futaba radio, JR Spectrum radio, quite simple. Hold down your set button, the light will come on, you need to scroll over to your limits. I'm going to move the rudder to the left first and bring your slider almost till it touches the tail rotor hub. Wait one second, 
you have your red light flashing now you're going to move the rudder stick to the right you want to bring it all the way over to the slider just about touches the bearing on the case and release the stick then at this point press your set button once tail rotor server will center once more that is for and there the tail rotor limits are now set on the 3GX. I'm Dino Spadaccini with Team Factory Align. Right, Jeff's just setting up the camera right now. I'll just bear with me. Hello everybody, this is Dino Spadaccini with Team Factory Line. I have my 550 uh, V2 in front of me and we're going to discuss the stock Align uh, speed controller. Um, just to kind of give you a quick idea on its setup and some of the things that you can change uh, and how it is programmed to fault from the factory. Um, Align uh, will ship you this controller when you buy the kit uh, with the braking mode uh, disabled. The electronic timing is in the mid timing. Your battery protection is on a high cutoff. Um, you're not in an aircraft mode. Uh, you're basically in the helicopter one soft start mode. Throttle response is at quick speed, and your BEC output voltage is set for 5.5. Uh, it's very easy to set up. The first thing you need to do is set your throttle stick at the highest position. At this point, we will go ahead and plug in our unit. That gives us our tones, that it knows that it's in calibration mode. That first signal gives us that it's looking to calibrate our throttle. Again, there it is on our lowest position for calibrating. Now it's going to give me five seconds to set up the preferred brake mode, which is disabled, and we're going to leave that at the low stick position. So we're braking mode is set. Now the next thing is to set the preferred timing mode. We're going to leave it at the default mode. We're going to move the throttle stick to the middle position. And it will go through a series of double beeps. It'll see that I have the throttle stick in the middle position, which that gives me the tones there. Now we're going to set our battery protection. Our battery protection is going to be high cutoff. So I'm going to move our throttle stick to our low position. Okay, calibrated for our voltage cuff. Now I'm going to put it in helicopter one mode, which is in the middle. And it's going to give us those four tones. Now it knows it's calibrated for helicopter one. Now we're going to go for quick speed, which would be high, high stick. Okay, so our, our response mode is programmed, and the last one is, is voltage running to the servos. High stick is 6 volts. I've already checked it on the receiver, 6 volts. Uh, default is 5.5, so I'm going to leave the stick in the high position. So now we know the whole ESC is now programmed. I'm going to disconnect the battery. Uh, just so everyone knows, it did have the pinion and motor move back, just in case there was a, a start. Uh, but that is how you program your ESC that comes with your 550 Pro. And if you look in your manual on page 32, it will give you many different ways to customize the setup of the ESC. You could have a no, no brake, you could have a soft brake or a hard brake. Protection mode gives you a high cutoff, which I've left it in the default mode. You could do a mid cutoff. Uh, or no cutoff. Uh, aircraft mode, 
which is a, a normal airplane slash glider mode, Helicopter 1, which is soft start, and Helicopter 2, which basically is soft start with governor mode. If people like to run governors, it has a built-in governor feature. Um, the BEC output voltage runs from low stick at 5 volts, mid stick at 5.5, and 6 volts at high stick. All right? Program sequence is very easy right at the bottom here at page 32. And this is a, the Align T-Rex 550 Pro V2. Uh, and this is how you set up your stock Align ESC. Thank you.